The Bryn Mawr shooting marked a violent end to a violent year in Minneapolis. Today, Mayor Jacob Fry and one of the city's top cops spoke about how they're trying to make the city safer. David Schumann shares what they had to say. Minneapolis Deputy Police Chief Amelia Huffman painted a grim picture Wednesday. Over 650 people who were shot in the city of Minneapolis this year and more than 2,000 robberies including over 650 carjacking incidents. Huffman and Mayor Jacob Fry say violent crime is the priority as they recruit for a police department that's seen hundreds of officers leave the force. We're making sure to focus a lot of the enforcement mechanisms that we have in the areas, for instance, where cars are being dumped after a carjacking. We're currently in the process of um, in, of reshuffling our investigative resources to provide more investigative support for um, robbery and carjacking investigation. There was a success story to share. Huffman said three handguns were taken Tuesday night from three teenagers in a car together who were taken into custody. Both Huffman and Fry spoke of the importance of accountability through the justice system, although Huffman admitted it's frustrating when it's the same people being arrested over and over. Many of these incidents are committed by a small group of people who are highly mobile and involved in multiple incidents. Heading into his fifth year as mayor, Fry says it will take time to roll out a public safety approach that will include what are known as upstream solutions in addition to policing. Upstream, that means strong community-based organizations, um, investments in schools and neighborhood organizations, uh, folks uh, who are involved in providing direction, um, mentorship to young people. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Five MPD recruiting classes are scheduled to graduate this year. However, the department is still looking for officers as well as community service officers. Fry is encouraging anyone to sign up and be the change they want to see.